coming to you from Studio 703. A show made for students, by students. This is Bronco TV. Hey Broncos, I'm Brayden. And I'm Fallon. Welcome back to Bronco TV. You know, I've noticed that our school year is a little different this year. Yeah, for one thing, I'm seeing a lot of blue on Fridays. I've noticed that too. We also can't see the bottom of each other's faces. I know, it's so weird. What's up Broncos? Students and teachers are returning this year better than ever. New students are excited for a brand new year back on campus. We want everyone to hit the ground running this year, really be able to show some school spirit because I'm super stoked. I think that our senior year is going to be good. We, we're putting a lot of energy towards it. We think that we have the opportunity to create a new culture on our campus um, and really get kids excited about going to school. I'm really excited to see everybody coming in in blue. I think kids want to get engaged and I hope they'll keep it up. One of the ways that students are getting involved on campus is demonstrating their school spirit at assemblies and events. It's explosive. It's exciting. I love seeing that. I love being a part of that. You know, there's still a lot of struggle out there, but there's a lot of energy, and you can see it immediately. You can feel it. It's electric. Being on a campus, being in person, it's a gift. Hey Broncos, this is Mia with the ASB Update, and this week's theme is Tie-Dye Week, and we're so excited to see you guys at the football game. If you didn't know, Homecoming is on October 2nd, and this year's theme is Olympic Games. Homecoming float building starts on September 27th. Contact your class council if you want to join, and we are so stoked to see you guys be part of the Olympic Games. In the previous weeks, we've had the burger eating contest and the belly flop challenge. And so far, the juniors are winning. Thank you so much for watching. That's all for the ASB update. Man, I have no idea what this teacher D thing is on my schedule. Oh, that means you have a new teacher. We have 10 new teachers on campus. Wow, that's amazing. I also heard about the new counselor and assistant principal. That's so cool. I wonder how the years are going so far. Let's find out. My name is Maria Canales and I am the proud assistant principal. My name is Miss Toledo. I am a school counselor here at Rancho Bernardo High School. My name is Mr. Ramirez and I teach U.S. History and Integrated Math 1. Our new staff is eager to bring their experiences to RB. This is my first year being an assistant principal ever. I was a middle school teacher for many years and then I became a high school chemistry teacher. So my passion has always been to work with students. I feel like they are such a wealth of knowledge and they are preparing themselves for their own futures and I love being able to guide them and help them through that process. Being in the classroom with students again, it's, it's great. What I look forward to most this school year is just seeing the students and being able to be back involved with the sports, plays, um, activities on campus, and just enjoying ourselves like we used to before. Um, my biggest thing is just seeing them be successful in whatever way that means for them. I'm just really happy to be here, and I just cannot wait to see what this year brings. I'm super excited. Oh, what the heck are you doing? Training for water polo. What are you talking about? This is boy season. Girls doesn't turn until the spring. And? Yeah, maybe we should leave that to the professionals. Welcome back, Broncos. Our fall athletes are excited to bring you an action-packed full season of sports. Our new athletic director, Coach Stowe, is thrilled to be organizing sports this year. We actually have seasons this year. I mean, last year our seasons were compacted. Athletes had anywhere from a four week season to maybe a six, seven week season. This year we have full seasons, full participation. Fans can come out to games. So that's probably the biggest thing I'm excited about this year. Broncos on three! One, two, three, Broncos! Our girls volleyball team has a new coach and he's ready to push the team to success. Last season we had like a two week season and it wasn't enough and the girls didn't get that like that finality to, to the season or you know for a lot of them a lot of them are juniors and they're returning and being seniors and so they're super excited to be back and I, I'm excited to be back as a coach. We have a new coach this year which is definitely something different but I feel like our team has a lot of experience and just a really high level of play and it's a really interesting dynamic because permanently on the team right now we have eight seniors and five juniors 
So it's a lot of experience and a lot of kind of mentorship for the juniors. Football season is back, and Coach McCoy is excited to see the Broncos in the stable. The senior group is a, is a good group. They were 10-0 and 0 as freshmen. They were 9-1 and 1 as sophomores. They've had success. So I think right now, they really just want to end their senior season and their careers on a positive note. I feel like we'll do pretty good this year. You know, we have a lot of the same players coming back. Get to work together again and keep building as a team. We played this season last spring without any fans. It just wasn't fun. So I think we're all really looking forward to having our fans there, having our student section, uh, because our players feed off of that energy. Coach Brammer is prepared to bring the Broncos an unforgettable water polo season. We're five and three. Uh, we've had five good wins, uh, three losses, but uh, overall I think we're uh, we're making progress in the right direction. We have a long season. We play 28 games, so uh, you know after eight games we have an idea of where we're at. Um, but I think uh, as far as our ability to be successful and win a lot more games, I think that's a looking up right now. After an incomplete season last year, our girls field hockey team is eager to return and play. I'm really excited to be back this year because last year we didn't get a complete season and and now we do and it's really exciting. Being back this year is really exciting because I'm a senior and I'm really trying to get the most out of this season with my new teammates and my old teammates and just have a good team dynamic. Oh hey! Brayden, I heard you were at Club Rush. Oh yeah, it was super cool. Tell me about it. Well, maybe it's better if I just show you. Hey Broncos, we got a lot of new students on campus this year. For a lot of you, it's your first Club Rush, so let's go see what it's all about. Hi, I'm Freya. I'm the co-president of Poets of RBHS. We're a really small, kind of chill, relaxed club. We're really focused on like the art of creative writing and literature. So if you're really interested in like meeting new friends and just sharing and spending time with people who love poetry, you can join our club. So you're the president of robotics, right? Yeah, so uh, this is our robotics team, Team 2658. We are our first robotics team. We do a lot of cool stuff. We have a build team, a design team, a marketing team, a software team, and an electrical team. It's a really great way to interact with the community. We like to spread STEM. And it's also a really great way to get those really hard skills, those soft skills that are really good for college. What was your goal with starting this club? We wanted to make it kind of support groups for people like minorities, not just black people, but everyone around the school had a safe space. And it kind of changed into that. We fundraise for other schools. Um, we work together with all the other schools at the district, so it's pretty nice. Our club is Together as One, and we are promoting giving back to our community through uh, volunteer hours, community service, fundraisers, and drives. And we also are teaching teenagers more about to unite and more about our community and prejudice. What's up, Broncos? Mish here. We are at Club Rush. We have condensed it down to one day this year, which is really exciting, and made our lunch longer. We have hundreds of clubs out here for you to join. Clubs are a great way to get involved and a great way to stay connected to RB. We hope to see you in a lot of clubs this year, everyone. Well, that's all for now, Broncos. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Bronco TV. Be sure to like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Welcome to Bronco. Wait, what? Let's try that again, but actually. <laughs> Why did I flinch? Oh, no. Brayden, I heard you were at Club Rush. Yeah, it was super cool. Ah. <laughs> what the heck was that? I don't know. Uh. Oh.